Oh, so you want to, you know, attract women or something. Pick a women, and here's an easy way to do it. The easiest way to do it, actually, with vast amount of knowledge that I have. I have, uh, obviously, the best strategy, like uh, the best strategy to touch grass is to summon some grass and touch it. It is the best strategy so far. I don't think anyone invented better strategy than this. So the best strategy to pick up women and date women. Well, you open up where there's a lot of women. You click on a woman. Copy the name. This This one doesn't have the name, but... It's the same one, you know, copied and pasted. But I, I have, I have uh, handpicked something. I guess I don't know. Seems magical, really cool. You copy that, you paste that, you get this shit. You listen to some music. Congratulations, that's your date. You want anything else? Hey, let, let me know, bro. Let me know. You, you have hands. If your penis needs something. You can touch it yourself, no problem. You don't have to stick it inside a, a you know, a, Oblivion Gates, all right? You're only gonna summon more demons. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Do you like other human beings right now? All right, are, are you sure about that? So, uh, yeah. Unless you find better, a good reason to actually go on a real date, touch real grass, appreciate real reality find me those reasons <laughs> maybe you will be rewarded for that i don't know bro but uh right now if you squint right now with your eyes you close your eyes a little bit and uh, focus you're gonna realize people have no reasons for anything so whatever is free actually has a reason to exist in everyone's lives is going to be the base value that everyone shares and everything's that expensive like going on a date into a restaurant wasting time not really communicating properly everything's just falling apart eventually and you're just uh busting your wallet open and just uh making it rain in the restaurant and no, no one even has, uh, you know, confidence for that. Everyone's fucking a brokey anyways. So uh, we're not going to have a functional society if we all just going to pretend that we can afford this nonsense. Okay? So it's not pathetic that I basically date myself all the time because that's not really what's going on. I do feel like uh, she's right in this case. There's... There are some psychic abilities, and I, I'm spending time and I'm fucking enjoying myself so much, and it's not porn, alright? It's not porn, this, this is what celebrities look like, what, what, what they give us, like, they're the top tier people, and if you don't appreciate them properly, I mean, uh, I'll take that, they're just gonna be cheaper for me then, congratulations, you fucked it up, but I... I think it's too late at this point, like, if, but we'll see. I like, I like a little bit of a competition. It feels too late, though. <sighs> yeah. For for me, I, I have, like, 90% discount for celebrities. I don't know. It's, what do I, how, how do I use this coupon code? We'll find out eventually. But anyways, I have this uh, special, you know... YouTube channel we're gonna look into, but I have to prime you guys with something else too. So let's go into the second chapter real quick. I need to break down the same thing I broke down in a previous video. Three statements basically. Three insane statements. Probably there has to be a fourth one because there's always the fourth one. Ah, oh, I hate it. I will not force the fourth one. If, if it comes, man, if it knocks on my door, it's nice. Well, fuck you. I don't like shadow people. I will not open the door. It has to appear on my screen somewhere in a tiny, titsy-bitsy corner. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna do that, unfortunately. I'm watching you. Anyways, men are repulsive, women are attractive. These are the qualities that the genders have. How is this possible? 
It's very simple. Mm. Oh, shit. I looked into the W and it's like, oh, it's a dead woman? Hmm. If you, if you don't finish, then... Oh, boy. Anyways. Uh, it is uh, quite obvious, right? Men are uh, getting uh, some kind of powers. They uh, get muscular uh, powers, skills, all kinds of abilities. They go to military. They do all sorts of uh, activities. Um, to claim more and more power, get money, get status, so, so to speak, in a way. I collect, like, knowledge. Mm -mm. I can exchange that to power whenever I, I need to. But it is quite a weird dynamic. You don't want to break it, right? You want to appreciate that you're repulsive, and it's like the superpower that you have. And the moment you try to be attractive as a man... It's kind of cringe. It's kind of you're just kind of failing as a human being. Like there's no reason to for you to be attractive. You you do you do you you do your thing. All right, attractive means creepy now. Honestly, yeah, you're gonna have sex, but it's like if that's what you needed, if that's what you prepared to have, I guess and enjoy that. I'm sure that's fantastic. Just like being married is fantastic. Yeah, tell tell me more about it. No one brags about having sex. If I had sex, my my biggest dream. Uh, I'll I'll give you guys an example. Let's let's take Taylor Swift, and I would have sex on stage. All right, the first man to to ever go to the moon, basically. <laughs> Not. Not in public, still in bed, but on stage. That's my dream. If someone steals my dream, shoot that person. I don't like that person. Alright. But, it is what it is. If I steal my own dream, don't shoot me, please. Please, don't do that. I know it's possible, just don't do that one. Anyways. So, yeah. The, the, yeah, you don't want to be overly repulsive, and you don't want to try and be attractive, all right? You just go with the flow, go with the how the man is built, all right, and what the man wants to do, all right? Uh, you, you go with the flow because, like, uh, women, like, just naturally look better and weaker, and they can't really just flex power all, all of a sudden it's too difficult and dangerous technically because uh, it just goes against uh, your nature it, like you don't want to force anything and so if you go with the flow this is the natural way of life the reason why we're priming this is uh, once we're gonna start watching this dude talk about dating and all this nonsense if he actually bumps into this whole thing, this whole phenomenon of me just building some basic principles here, uh, and uh, he just reinvents the wheel, and here's here's the wheel. If you reinvent it, it's bad vibes because you're just wasting my time. I've pretty much done it myself. I didn't really even care about his content. Because we didn't even watch any of that stuff. But that's going to be, you know, the juicy part. While we watch the content, if I get bored, because it literally talks about this thing in some peculiar way, you know, giving particular specific examples. I give a very abstract thing, but it's like, this is a circle, and you can make a wheel out of that. And it's like, stop inventing the wheel every single episode. All right, because that would be pretty boring. <laughs> All right, we're going to take this to red circle, and it's going to be a red wheel, guys. That is so crazy. And red wheel is a little bit more attractive. Um, it has these type of qualities. It's going to be so cool. But uh, we have to first invent a red wheel. And I'm going to I'm gonna tell you guys uh, five five tricks on how to invent the wheel. 
All right. Episode uh, 270 million. I don't know, bro. Invent a color of Bugatti now. That would be nice. A fast wheel. Uh, but it's so deep. Like, this, this one statement is so deep. Because we don't really think about men that much. And we think, like, oh, being attractive is fine. But it's not. It's, it's not actually a good quality to have. Being repulsive is what allows me to reject, basically, women before they say anything. Oh, oh you want to be a part of, of my life, you think you're attractive. I can just reject them all of a sudden because they reject me. Because that's natural for them to do. But... Fine. My... My quality, my level, increases. Virginity is still a pretty valuable thing to have. As long as you know how to play with yourself. And, uh... Be happy. I mean... Uh, virginity go goes both ways. Alright, women are good, good being virgins and men are good being virgins. It's not where, like, oh, having sex is the ultimate way out. Well... Maybe old school, it was uh, kind of a thing, but where do where do we get this thing uh, called uh, sex after marriage? I don't, I don't know what, what, it, what it came from. It's, it probably doesn't mean anything, am I right? It's probably complete uh, nonsense that people believed in, and there's plenty of Christians in the past, and now there's just a lot of virgins because we're all kind of like gamers and stuff. So nothing really changed, it's just we don't really care about God that much because we play God of War or something instead. Or uh, we we pretend that game developers are gods and that's probably more accurate because uh, th that's what God would have wanted us to believe in because God probably created this reality and it's boring, so we have to update it with uh, better software. I'm just saying. <laughs> this is so weird. So, uh, you see, this is this is the deep well I just keep on throwing buckets. There's still water in it. All right. So you don't want to be too repulsive, because, uh, well, you can't attract anything. In your life, you can't attract any values in your life. You don't want to, you don't want to constantly reach towards something and it just runs away. Everything starts having legs and runs away from you. You don't want that to happen in your life, which is why you don't attract bad vibes. You don't create bad vibes for yourself. That's not necessary to be repulsive. All right, if you have power, if genuine power, people just gotta. Just, just walk away from you. Just like that. They're just going to be scared because they're unreasonable. They're not even going to question their fear. All right? There's nothing you can do, basically, to stop them. All right? You can try and convince them for years and years. The, if you're too powerful for them, they, they just don't understand. All right? You're way too high a level. They don't understand you. There's nothing you can do. The best thing you can do is cut off your arm, I guess, and then become a normie all of a sudden. Because now you don't have that much power, clearly, you know. Uh, which is, you know, what puts popular people and shadow people in a weird spot where they're kind of very, very single. Or they potentially are... Uh, they have the capacity, but they're still very single. And it's kind of weird. It, it, it's it's very weird. And people who have relationships in the in these situations, like uh, I mean, they're they're extra successful, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so, but there's so much more to it. It's crazy. It's so crazy. Obviously, if uh, I get to explain more things get more water from the well, I'm like, okay, that's fine. Based Zeus uh, did something actually valuable. 
But if we just uh, reinvent the same wheel, and the same color of the wheel, apparently, and uh, all the same qualities and whatever. If you have a wheel, you can drive a car. <laughs> if you don't have wheels, you cannot pick up women anymore. You're not confident. Oh, oops. Like, all of these things are so very basic things that you l learn eventually. No one needs to tell you about it. You know, however, for me, you know, you bumped into me and it's like, all right, help me out, girl, next. I can, in fact, help. All right. I can summarize everything in just three fucking sentences. It destroys me right now. I, How is this possible? I have to kill the dead wing um, and replace it with the, the cake. Because I, I want four things. I want this to be a cake. I want this to be fucking tasty and nasty. Let's go, bro. So if I can figure out what the fourth thing is, that would uh, change my world. Maybe it should be like the dating part. Because like, how do men date? We kind of understand now. But how do women date? Right, what, what are women supposed to do? Uh, w women are supposed to do their best to upload content. It's, it's so difficult for them to do. But pretty much everything works. Alright. Everything works. For women, like, it's extra hard to do because they're interconnected in society. So every single move is going to be judged on. Especially if they're not married. That means they kind of just blame the husband for wanting to do a podcast or uh, talk about politics or, or that sort of stuff. These kind of unicorn women who do weird things, they get married very quickly for some reason. And it's, it's kind of interesting to see. Maybe I'm wrong with that, but uh, that's the vibe so far. I don't know. Uh, men need to seek free things, and women need to uh, provide them. You know, it's it's enough of this fucking lustful nonsense. We're uh, we're all paying for each other tremendous amount of resources I mean for fucks just do what you like it's so much freedom here's some wheels for you guys we're obviously not gonna match the colors just yet because all I'm trying to do is just putting the layers in but it's so stupid that people don't understand the basic things and I have to figure out myself, you know. It's just like playing the game and it's just like it stops working at some point. Or getting out of balance completely and it's just unplayable. And it's like, okay now, give me the source code. Come here. Come here, crying baby. Let me punch you in the face. It's gonna be alright. Because uh, you're all grown up, so... Uh, you're gonna get slapped and punched potentially. Ah, you're gonna. So, uh, how do we call this? The ultimate dating advice. Congratulations. It's it's an advice technically, but not really. Principles. The things you need to know and figure out in their entire, just have it in your head and see if you can learn more about those statements that I'm giving you because these are like the most meaningful statements because they're so provocative and so insane sometimes. Men are supposed to be lovable and women useful. How does that work? Again, if you keep attracting terrible vibes for yourself if you're just a scary monster and no no human being can possibly love you and you you don't show the way to kind of love yourself and all that stuff 
you, but most importantly, obviously just have to show positive emotions, and that means that you like something, but it has to be a, a human thing, a legal thing, the things that you like have to be, uh, well, quite, uh, quite achievable, let's put it that way, it doesn't have to be necessarily normal, it can be above average, up to your level, basically. But it has to be very much achievable by someone else. It's best to just like other people, alright? Just know who you like. And for me, uh, that shit's pretty obvious. I have buttons and I like clicking them. Especially if they have cool names. Like Beezus. Oh, that's not Beezus, that's... That's garbage. Bo bo, you just uh, replace these two letters in Beezus. And if you type in Beezus, you get my favorite girl. <laughs> Why are you doing that to me? Oh shit, you don't actually get the favorite girl. You get garbage. Can we get to that? No. Shit. It's disgusting. What? Well, you have to type in movie, and then you get... Alright. You gotta cheat. You gotta type in a second word. Pretty uh, basic word, but you still gotta type it in, guys. Anyways. So, uh, we're barely scratching the second thing off. Uh... But yeah, like, it's, it's so basic, like, you have to be attracted to things that make sense, that are achievable, uh, that someone can achieve at some point. So, someone, if they like you, they can deliver what you asked for, you know. Uh, and if you like it very much, like, probably other people like it too. So, even if you reject it, someone else will take it from you, it doesn't matter, you know, and then women have to be useful, now women are, have the quality to be attractive, right, and that, that's the whole point, because women, men are repulsive, they still have to have the ability to be lovable, right, they're not supposed to reject people, all right, you're repulsive, you kind of automatically reject so you're not supposed to be uh, full of things that would just reject people if they try to approach you, if they actually look look around your way and be like, oh, I'm curious, what, what's up with you, basically. You're not supposed to just straight up walk away. You're supposed to be a tough dude that can withstand a little bit of a curiosity from a person. I, I hope you can do that. Otherwise, you're a piece of shit, basically. And it's something you have to be prepared for, unfortunately. And you have to train yourself. Like, very basic skill. Being lovable. Uh, but uh, then the skill of being useful. So that's cool. What is that? Well, uh, women are kind of attractive shells of nothing. Of nothingness. They're still a human being. They can do basic things. Very likely, they're a part of society. But they only have basic things, right? The coolest thing they can do is like make another human being. Cause, well, why else you would be a part of society if you you can't make magic like that? That's, that would be weird. So, uh, useful. But most of the time, you don't want to make more human beings, cause uh, you probably don't like those. Those are terrible. Terrible things to create. All right, more human. Stop that. I I don't want to deal with more human. I can barely look at another cat creating another cat. It's fucking. I I want to vomit. It's like I'm not gonna take care of that shit. No one's gonna take care of that shit. That's that shit's gonna grow back into a lion and start eating people again. Congratulations, man. It's not cool. So uh. Yeah, useful is uh, the whole point, is to find use, 
uh, of one. But women themselves obviously have to prepare themselves to be useful, not, not to be sexually useful, used all just like a rag doll. I mean, if that's what you want, there's an inflation going on, and table's gonna flip. We're not gonna waste money anymore on women sucking dick all the time. Going into porn industry and pretending that there's infinite money to go around for entertainment purposes. That's not what's going on, bro. Alright? Now, becoming a porn star is more of a lottery ticket than an actual job. So, uh... Good luck with that. Because the, the biggest problem is, like, you, you're not just earning money by going into porn industry. You're also risking your reputation. And if you forget about that part, I mean, you're not very useful, all right? Because the moment you detach from society, that's, that's why, you know, they have to be interconnected. Women have to be interconnected. They have to have the basic, basic skills. And it's so, so juicy to actually connect to a woman like that. Then you get to know a lot of people. You get a lot of opportunities open up for you. There's... The whole fucking world changes if you truly connect to a truly useful woman, all right? If you just connect to a lonely piece of shit, women that don't really take care of themselves, don't really want to live a life, then it's just like, and get potentially married to some random dude eventually. It's like, God, no, there's no use for those women. Come on, bro. They just gave up on life very quickly. It's pointless to look at the, into their direction. So this is the, the highest quality. All right. And again, it takes me a long time to just explain these two fucking sentences. I just sit here squeezing, squeezing the poopy out. It's like, <laughs> damn, I'm constipating. These are just two sentences, man. Why am I tripping? Yeah. Uh, nobody taught, said, said that about any pill whatsoever. And, and Oh, there's just two pills, man. I took two pills and now, now I'm tripping forever. Wakanda forever, boys. <sighs> See, I'm, I'm creating more potent things than actual physical things. Like, meaning is more powerful than fucking physical pills. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. So, uh, welcome to the new chapter where we're gonna take the other two pills, because that's... That's fantastic. We, we made it, guys. Obviously, this uh, video has to be sponsored by women. So, uh, just uh, just to give you the, the vibes. How good vibes look like. Mm -hmm. There's definitely a lot of murder going on, guys. I collected the most gruesome things in the universe. I can't even look that way. It's disgusting. Oh, well, this must be a poison apple. I will die by looking at it. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> See, she's crying. I think. Maybe she stopped crying, though. We will never know, though. And there's... There's many, many. Many, many now. Now it's a big collection. Isn't that cute? Men have to be ready to give up their nonsense. And women have to be ready to start some. Uh, again, te technically I already explained what this thing is. So that's cool. I guess we ate the third pill subconsciously that's cool pretty much like the first four minutes was the the this pill that free things again are much more sensible to to deal with right now in current age because do you really like being a slave that much that you have to interact with women by all means necessary you gotta get those Giga Chad superpowers, mega powers. Do you really care about that? When, when it becomes available, all right. 
when free things get even better and better, uh, maybe women women will come out of their cages. All right, we maybe we'll break through slavery, but we have to actually put put a little bit of force on slavery because if slavery exists, then comfort zones are actually more valuable than whatever reality provides, whatever the outside world is, all right? I'm sorry, bro. Slavery changes everything, all right? There's plenty of people who are very, very, live very, very uncomfortable lives, and maybe they bump into a woman and they just glue together because now we can be slaves together and we're, we're going to be happy forever. And uh, they just disappear into nothingness, basically. Congratulations. When you're married, you basically don't exist. All right? Because you... There's, there's no reason for you to even make this free content on, on the internet right now. What's the point? But you do have to exist on the internet. S somehow. It's, it's a pretty cool thing to do. But yeah, once you're married, once you have that belly thing going on... Brewing children in there. Hmm. I don't want to see it, to be honest. not very attractive to me. It's kind of lame. <sighs> but anyways, so, uh... The third thing, and the final thing, basically, right? Can we squeeze more out of that? Because we're very familiar with this. Uh, are there more free things to seek? Obviously... The nofap community has to be punched in the face because what else do I do? Do nothing? You know, might as well create a boredom community. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Yes, sleeping too much is is kind of lame, and uh, after you masturbate, you like kind of forced to go to sleep and relax. But it, everyone feels tired all the time for various reasons. Uh, fapping is, is nothing spectacular, and this is the only, the only thing that they have against people who masturbate. It's like, oh, you're just wasting energy or something like that. Oh, you just, you have to be lusting for women and working for women and enslaving yourself even harder. That's the whole point of life, guys. You know, that's the only thing that motivates. What? Well played, I guess. I want people to be motivated to be on the internet, so, uh, for me, uh, masturbation is pretty valuable, I'm not gonna lie. And maybe I'm just a little bit more powerful than you have ever known, because maybe I am YouTube CEO, just double check that, alright? Double check if someone else is YouTube CEO right now. The way they are supposed to be, so if you can find someone like that, then let me know. Alright? We'll, we'll take a look at it together. Alright. And if you're wrong, then uh, I hope you prepared a, a, a hole in the ground. Alright? And the, and the shovel. Because I'm not going to bring my own shovel. I, I don't want to do that shit. I want free things, okay? See? It's, it's, it's supposed to be simple for me. If you're wrong, there's consequences. <laughs> You'll have to do a Mr. Beast video where you're buried alive for some reason. I don't know. I've heard. I've heard bad things happen. I, I don't want to be this negative. It's just for me, like, very fun to tease people like this. I, I don't really know what, what I mean with this all nonsense. But it's free. My videos are free. Oh, wait. I have to f seek free things. Well, it's not free videos, actually. Because they take a lot of time to actually consume. What is actually free is for me to express myself is pretty free. For me to attract this way any kind of woman that I want. Release more and more videos until maybe we, we get some fish... Was someone hooked, all right? We don't need fish. We need to know that I have created a hook that hooks things, all right? We have to start with some basics. So, that's, that's the true 
uh, superpowers of fisherman, man. But you have to start from scratch, and then, then you truly know that you're doing just fine. So you have to not attract things, but hook things. All right, in this dramatic effect, it's like uh, the the fish is just like flapping around. It's like I don't want to fucking go outside water, and that's that's exactly what keeps happening to me. All right, I keep creating drama that people don't want to deal with, and it's like, well, if he, if you're a man, I just release you back into the ocean. <laughs> go fuck yourself. <sighs> no one likes you, anyways. Men have to be ready to give up their nonsense. And women have to be ready to start some. So, uh, this is quite a deep one as well as everything. Supposed to be deep. So where do we start breaking it down, right? Men obviously create a bunch of nonsense with their power, right? If they're not careful with their powers, they create a lot of trouble for themselves. And sometimes they even start collecting that trouble. I mean, it's quite fascinating. You you become rich, you start flexing, and it's like, oh, I, I actually like uh, pissing people off. And it's like, what? The moment you become a part of society, you're not supposed to do nonsense all the time. You're supposed to be quite a harmless little creature that, uh, you know, does certain favors of some kind provide some kind of value if you want to you should probably have enough resources to do whatever you want technically it's just not to harm anyone and not to generate negative emotions because you're powerful and you don't know what to do with it like that is nonsense you have to clean that shit up so you have to be ready because when the woman is introduced into your life she will fix that for you no problem all right, it's best to clean yourself up as much as possible just to feel the presence of a woman. That is respect. That's what respect is all about, all right? You're getting closer to women, and it's like, oh, I have to clean this thing. I have to do this thing. Uh, yeah. Do, do as best as you can to prepare yourself to allow women into your life. Otherwise, they will fucking violently change you in the sense. All right, and if if they're not powerful enough to do that, they they just change you enough so where you don't like the relationship anymore. You're gonna break up and you're gonna be broken hearted. I mean, there's some weird shit like that is gonna happen. But uh, if you, I mean, uh, you can have multiple relationships. I don't think even cheating is that big of a deal. Uh, because uh, you, everyone needs experience to some extent until they stop making uh, mistakes, until they stop making bad decisions. So uh, you gotta give up nonsense in other ways where you just be, just become a better human being over time too, regardless of whether the women you're dealing with are toxic or not. You're not supposed to suck in that toxicity yourself. You know, but that's another challenge, you know, that's uh, just the challenge of basic relationships. Uh, but if something does work out, you have to be, well, you have to be ready to give up, but it's, uh, there has to be special conditions where the relationship actually works out. Otherwise, nonsense is fine, it's just uh, the other person will will not be able to actually deal with your nonsense and break it down and use it against you that means that person is just too weak for you and that's it you know it's it's quite fascinating that comparing our power level is so important again we're just taking four four pills here four pills just explaining four things i can't wait to click some based zeus videos and watch stuff Shorts are kind of cool. He's pumping out shorts like crazy every single day, nonstop. They're probably just remanufacturing material they already collected. Uh, it's uh, not a big deal in my view, but 
It doesn't get a lot of views, as you can tell. But it is what it is, man. I'm gonna watch it, so it will get a lot of views. That's how it works. If if you're desperate for entertainment beyond the infinite ent entertainment that I provide, I mean, be my guest. Uh, women have to be ready to start some. So what does that mean? Why why should say why would why would sh they uh, choose nonsense in their lives? First of all, women have to prove that they can actually introduce a little bit of nonsense and still remain in society. All right. Oh, my nudes leaked or something. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I did the sex scene and like that got leaked. I uh, I sold my pictures of feet on OnlyFans. I I was very desperate, guys. I was with this guy and I broke up and I I still didn't really deleted the Instagram photos because I, I still kind of miss this guy. But you know whatever. Uh, that sort of stuff like baggage technically, but not really. Baggage just doesn't bring you down because you figure out a way to do it where it doesn't really have weight on you. It's just there for symbolism purposes, to trigger people's emotions, to make them trip and uh, think about you as as a storytelling person. All right, just like Selena is a crybaby who cry, uh, keeps uh, crying about Justin Bieber and it never ends. Congratulate. And for her, it's probably now baggage at this point. Uh, but uh, it's still solvable. And men are very much ready to solve baggage. And solve nonsense that women have. Because women nonsense is kind of like basic garbage. You just uh, push it aside and it's like, uh, say goodbye to certain things. And women is just going to start crying and... <laughs> uh, just having uncontrollable emotions and it's gonna be just entertaining to watch all right it's no problem there all right you're gonna be able to hug them when they cry you're gonna be able to punch them in the face when they laugh i don't know bro <laughs> uh it's uh it's uh, gonna be a roller coaster when you just deal with just Th thorns that they just chose to leave um, as a tattoo on their, you know, on their history. All right. Maybe they cut their hair at some point. I don't know. And it became ugly all of a sudden. That's also an indication of just uh, surrender to whatever cause it was, whatever caused the whole thing, you just surrender to it. Because you normally don't sacrifice your attractiveness uh, ever. Unless you're really dedicated to a person, then you just uh, switch your focus. But uh, you can get knocked out by a person. You switch your focus too early and uh, all of a sudden you start losing a lot of things. Like hair. I'm. <laughs> there's there's plenty of examples of that, but I'm not sure. Beyond that, what else? Uh, an example to give. So, um, there there's plenty of you know. Cool cases that or cool ways that, uh, based Zeus could rephrase all these pills. But if he just keeps giving me the same bullshit that I just explained, literally the entire world of dating explained in four sentences, how could I have done that? <laughs> because I'm super duper smart, that's why. I'm gonna use the word nailed. People say I'll na nailed it got the exact same result as intended basically nailed the test so well, let's see if we can nail the test all right this is gonna be uh 
the thing that's gonna reduce his hearts even further from three down to whatever and we might not touch based zeus ever again if all he does is the uh, the thing that we've already figured out in four sentences i mean he can have like one golden video up front like if you click on his home page face reveal oh face reveal is what what we need to see all right so that's definitely not a golden video but let's see what the most popular video is and uh, have the population figured out uh, those four things. Because, uh, you know, we, we are intuitive creatures, so we could potentially figure it out. This is how a girl uh, wants you to text her. So, it's technically furry stuff. So that checks out. Alright, technically free. And then, uh, we have to find the other three things. But you, if you wait too long, you need to text enough to keep her interested in you and thinking about you. If you this is where I feel like the data and device just, uh, falls apart immediately. When you, you have to explain every single step of the way, it's like... It it's it doesn't become a natural thing. It just becomes reprogramming of a human being. It, when I say all these four things, these are like principles. This is something you can break down yourself and work on it yourself. Maybe you can find something more valuable, replace it, uh, change change the language of this thing. I don't care if you have better definitions of some kind. But uh, these are tradable cards, and this, uh, this is, uh, you know, processed food, let's put it that way. Expensive and absolute garbage when you put it in your mouth. Texts are actually useful. Basically, it's, it's kind of like a motivator in case you do have questions. It's like, well, here's how you do it if you have questions. The real answer is, uh, have fun with it, and uh, hopefully something sparks, you know, uh, when, yes, if you smash the two rocks together, just the right way, you get some sparks and you can start a fire, but maybe that's not what you want to do, alright, if you're desperate, then yes, you need exact instructions on what to do. But if you're just living an actual life, uh, instructions are kind of for uh, for pussies, my friend. Again, even I could at some point be desperate if I realized that I really, really need something. I would try my best to follow instructions, but I still have to keep my core intact where I... I don't want to give up to a person, give, give him all, all my authority, you know? Because eventually a girl will find out that you have watched these videos and uh, will not think very highly of you anymore. This is, this is kind of like cheating, unfortunately. All right. You, you have your test. Do your best. All right. You have been educated already of how women operate in the world. I think you can do just fine without watching all these videos. So, uh, I think we're nailing it without even nailing it, because I, I didn't even care. You know, I, I didn't even care of whatever the fuck he said. I, I know, it, it does uh, tickle my fancies, uh, where, where he's just kind of like balancing things, and it's like, but that's all there is, it's just a fluffy balancing thing. It's like, well, don't do minus one and don't do plus one. Do like the the zero thing that, you know, that is normal thing to do. <laughs> like, what? That's all you can do is just see what's normal. Don't be afraid to tease her or flirt with her. This is one. I want to be afraid. Maybe she's a fucking monster, bro. Maybe she's gonna eat my brain. 
Don't forget what you're actually trying to do here. You're not looking for another text buddy. You're looking for a chick to go out with. Use text. See what I'm talking about? Technically, technically, he's saying this. Uh, this, I mean, where women are supposed to be useful. All right. Not a text buddy. But then he rejects half of the stuff where maybe I, I want a text buddy. You know, don't forget you are desperate and you clicked on this video because you have a lot of questions and you have to finish your business right now. All right. What a dick stuck somewhere, you know, inside another person. It's pretty cute. We call it sex over here and everyone needs it right as, as fast as possible. All right. Otherwise, you're a loser. All right. That's cool. To go out with. Yeah. Technically, back back in old school, you do need a chick to go out with. You do need to, to spend quality time to... And uh, just texting is kind of garbage. Back in the day, it was garbage. But now, you even have emojis. Back in the day, you got nothing, man. You got a bunch of fucking characters that you can put together into an emoji... That looks like garbage anyways. Yeah, it, it was, that was, uh, that was nonsense, all right? Then you have to do the other old school thing and just call her, basically, uh, instead of texting. But no one really picks up phones. But, you know, there's there's some special girls out there that kind of do that. It, it's, it's cool. It's cool. <sighs> But right now, the technology has advanced so far where texting, I, I text myself and it's just entertaining enough. I don't even need to talk to anyone. I don't even need a uh, text buddy because they just dry up very quickly and disconnect and float into outer space. And I can't reach these people. All right. No matter what I do. I mean, it has to be text buddy first, and then you develop on top of that. It cannot be the other way around, where it's just like, oh, I'm desperate, now I have to pull you into my reality, because that's the only thing I need to do. I I care about slavery, so I, I try to make sure that uh, people have enough freedom to decide for themselves if they like me enough or not. That's fine. Be casual. You want your text to be casual and light. You don't want to bring up super complicated topics or heavy discussions or anything like that. Because of Well, you do want to retain the connection and you don't want to start talking to yourself. But if uh, another person appreciates these things, <laughs> fuck it, man. If the tone's too heavy, it'll just start pushing her away. And also... Oh, really? Oh, wow. 100% of the time, am I right? Text isn't the best way to do it because it's really easy for someone to ignore a text if they start feeling overwhelmed. Now, if the girl... Yeah, it, I mean, it's fair to push boundaries. And again, this is... But you have to know psychology if uh, you can outperform uh, texts, all right? If you think you can... I perform text, but even psychology can actually empower you to make better text. So it's like, uh, when when do you go out? When is is time to go out and all of a sudden interact with real people in real life? When is that time? Uh, only with enough desperation. I don't know. But it it happened to me. I kind of try to go out. It didn't turn out very well and we kind of broke off and that's fine she had plenty of baggage basically ridiculous amount of baggage unbearable amount if someone saw me with that girl and was like what if, what the fuck are you doing bro but uh you know i i went the desperate route i i did something and uh i i still you know like the person i like everyone I want to be lovable, so I like everyone else back. 
It's just how it works, you know, and she had the ultimate quality of just, you know, being respectful and texting whenever I text her and uh, trying to keep the conversation going. And it's the most respectable thing in the universe. I'm sorry, bro. So, uh, yeah, there's all sorts of people you cannot, again, uh, you cannot be body shaming either, especially nowadays. Now body shaming is another thing that is actually quite real. I know people are different levels of attractiveness, but uh, attractiveness is pretty expensive to maintain. If you want an attractive person, are you willing to buy their makeup, uh, you know, and buy them clothes? Uh, it's pretty fucking expensive shit, so uh, be careful with that. Alright, start, start with some basic girls. All right, that don't really require maintenance all the time. Who kind of gave up on being attractive. It's completely fine. Uh, all you need is experience, and eventually you're going to get someone your level. You know, once you recognize who you are as a person, how well you can perform your role in society, and once you get invited into society, well, women are going to approach you. And fill their fill their roles of have of introducing you to society and how it all works. They know better than me how society works. I can only observe it. They have experienced what are, are the good and bad parts of it. And the moment you have qualities, qualities as a man, you will be invited to society. Congratulations! Welcome back, you little piece of shit. All right. So, uh, th it's another hidden pill that I really want to have somewhere. It's kind of crazy. Oh, congratulations. Once, uh, uh, you're welcomed back to society, you will get your girl too. It's that simple. Alright. So, you're gonna force your way in? <laughs> you're gonna be welcome back with open arms. Oh, welcome back. You forced yourself in. Mm, pretty early, but if that's all you made it... It's almost like holding your breath, and it's like... um, Actually, I don't want to hold my breath. Like, there's no reason. And it's like, oh, you... Is, is that it? Is that that's your record-breaking hold... Bre holding breath thing you you want to give up now and you say oh i want to give up and you keep pushing yourself into society and no one's gonna force you out of it of course you can force your way in all right of course you can manipulate women and say no 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 and they will fucking understand your language. Eventually they will break down and think, I want you to be a better human being, please. They will keep telling you that. Keep telling you to be better. You can do better, all right? You can get, get a girl when you're like 40. It's fine. <laughs> they, they'll tell you that. And uh, you, you just got to suck it up and be like, I'm a man, I can do it. I don't even need society and all that stuff, and congratulate. Obviously, there, there is a dark side. It's like, you don't want to detach yourself from, do yourself from society entirely because there's too many values in there, and you have to constantly remind uh, women somehow in some way that you're willing to go back anytime you're welcome, all right? That's the real way to, the most natural way to come back. It's like, well, whenever you want, whenever you feel I'm ready to face, uh, you know, my dreams come true, basically. Because that's kind of what happens. Uh, you, Your dreams come true and it's the scariest thing. All right? You, you think it's, it's fluffy nothingness. Uh, oh, yeah. When dreams come true... Uh, you realize how crazy they are. I mean, 
I know, I have a feeling that, and I still will, I, I can have all the feelings in the world, but when it starts happening, it will just destroy my mind. And this is another reason why I have to be ready to give up nonsense. Because once dreams start to come true, like, uh, you don't want to be attached to the, the life that you lived as a man, uh, detached from society, uh, basically rejected by everyone. You don't want to go back to that and pretend that that was a better life. Like, you have your dreams, like, but that that's what can happen if your dreams were nonsense. You just kind of want to go back, and there's nowhere to go back, and you just get ripped apart, basically, by your dreams. Because your dreams don't understand who you are anymore, and it's like, well, <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Well, <laughs> you start melting down, I guess. I don't know. I don't, it's, it's terrifying. Again, if you make wrong turns in life, it pretty much kills you in a spectacular fashion. I'm very intrigued by this kind of uh, idea. I mean, it sounds legit. I mean, even previous video, uh, the story about Deadwing is uh, kind of, you know, all, all these gatekeepers that also kind of try to detach from society because they want girls for themselves. <laughs> girls get to decide that, okay? Girls get to decide that if I can groom them or not. Just kidding. Obviously, I'm not aiming for that shit. Nasty shit. But let's, like... There's there's all these gatekeepers, man, who pretend that they're, uh, their job is to actually monitor who comes back to society. And it's like, come on, bro. Come on. That... Uh, you're just bored and you have been rejected and it's just the weirdest place to be in to kind of be in, in the middle of uh, society and men coming back from their adventures basically it's like what what the fuck are you doing in the middle that's a real really homeless person who doesn't know that they're homeless yet you know because they're just babies. I'm on without ever appearing like you're trying too hard. So that's it. I hope these tips have helped you. Remember to save them somewhere and start using them. You'll immediately see your success with texting improving. Hey <laughs> Fuck off with your programming. Save your programming. The only thing you can save are principles, man. And you have to craft them very nicely. And if you want me to save anything, like, what is it? Where is your fucking principles? Get get the fucking life, bro. It's disturbing. Holy shit. This is his most popular video. This is a, a reason to sometimes take down your popular videos. If they're garbage, if you're not proud of them, and probably I bumped into this guy and he will not be proud anymore for his most popular video. What is the second most popular? What if he deletes his most popular? What would happen? Would it improve? Probably not, because past this point, past this point, it looks like absolute complete garbage that is uh, created by desperate men, right? To try and look attractive. And holy shit, I don't want to do that one. All right? I don't want to deal with this shit. Just emotional baggage that everyone has. I can sort of understand texting is the most basic thing to start with. But even a, even then, uh, right now I'll, I'm a little bit more desperate to be like, when I text someone, I want them to reply. It's actually a much bigger problem that women are facing right now. They have so many notifications, they don't know where to start. And how to do anything. So right now, actually the most attractive thing to do, maybe, maybe uh, uploading things on YouTube is not exactly the way to do it, because women are on Instagram. So maybe you can actually educate and show all these principles. I'd probably try and copy paste these principles one by one and see if women react to that, but I can't reach anyone. 
even on Instagram or YouTube, I'm just completely in the shadows. So I don't know, bro. I don't know. And if you're a man, it's, uh, I don't know, bro. Uh, I, I, I know I had an idea, but it just fell apart right in my hands because that's what happens when you detach from society. Literally nothing works. You have to make it work for yourself. No one else is going to make it work, unfortunately. Unless you become a popular kid. Then the world is completely different. <laughs> Fantastic. If you're normie, it is a little bit different from my perspective. Because, But I'm like the most normal normie of all time, but just way too powerful to be recognized as a normie anymore. Uh, so I'm, except uh, I'm just recognized as a weirdo instead. It's just uh, much easier for these people to deal with that kind of idea. Uh, you know, because it's weird not to be desperate all the time and keep trying to be attractive or whatever nonsense. I care about the recent uploaded and mostly shorts because they kind of just trigger me to think about different things. Uh, so uh, I'm just gonna go down the rabbit hole, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if I'm nailing it properly, to be honest. If there is something to nail. But, uh... It just, it just feels like, you know, I, I'm not getting excited about dating that's that's kind of the whole point this is the real nail against space zeus is like i'm not very excited Th that should be like the main point of his fucking videos is to make you excited to show examples and show like common mistakes as the action is actually going on where he's attracting a bunch of women because he likes playing around and he shows uh the things maybe he can blur the names or whatever i wouldn't even do that shit I don't give a fuck. You get free publicity, little shit. Alright? That's how you make women useful at the same time. Make them a part of your videos. It's like the coolest thing ever. And he's not doing that? Are you kidding me, bro? Again, the only time I actually showed uh, in, the, in the video called uh, Pleasure Seeking, I believe, is bullshit. Well, the last bullshit video. Yeah, it must be about pleasure. Because, uh, you know, being a Giga Chad is definitely a lot of pleasure, isn't it? Having a relationship is a lot of pleasure. I'm sure it is. It's like a dream come true. But if you make your dreams come true too early, then your dream's gonna suck ass. Alright, I'm just gonna tell you that much. They're gonna kind of suck ass. They're not gonna be developed fully. You're just gonna be a family guy. <laughs> Of replaying old Family Guy episodes just in real life. I mean, that's that's the best most people can do. All right, they have a shitty family. They have shitty life. Uh, they have to slave around forever, and uh, they don't own shit in the end. Even their their own wife don't don't actually like them, but you know, they they were desperate. So it worked out perfectly. So, uh... Yeah, so... Uh, there's that video. I'll give you guys the video to click on. Uh, it stands out immediately. There's the real girl, guys. It's, uh, playing uh, Smash or Pass, because that's the only useful thing you could have done, right? Like, literally. But technically, there's some girls being uh, highlighted here in these interviews this guy is like a real dude who interviews good girls but it's still not not the useful way to do it the useful way to do it is like if you're doing relationship advice just show us relationships that we could be jealous about that's it bro it's not that difficult to figure out unless you're fucking stupid and we're not supposed to listen to your goddamn advice it's that fucking simple. Alright. So we're definitely nailing this guy. Pretty hard. Alright. You teaching me and I'm nailing you. Alright. You're, you're a tester. Uh, pathetic, basically. 
That's what you can do with a lot of knowledge. I, I love exchanging knowledge into just pissing on pe in, on people's uh, heads, but eventually they will open their mouth and it's going to be way more satisfying, okay? With someone, someone asked him to open his mouth right now. I mean, and uh, tell me how it tastes like. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to... Uh, a money advice if someone is not living a rich life, basically, and is able to afford basically anything. Uh, but then it's like, being rich is kind of lame. But uh, what is the coolest thing about being rich? Well, you can still show something cool, like going to like very, very fancy places and uh, doing very fancy things. Just for the sake, just because you can technically, like you have your own driver and you go to uh, uh, very cool events or something. Uh, but uh, it's it's a tough one. It's a really complicated thing uh, to flex how rich you are. And that, that one is complicated. All right, the real way to flex that you're rich is actually give money away, which is kind of crazy, right? So it's like, well, if you you watch this video and you comment this thing, this random thing, and we just I'm just gonna give a, a bunch of money away, and it's like, oh, now I'm gonna listen to you because you're definitely rich. You gave me like fifty bucks or something randomly. That's pretty cool. That's the way to prove that you're rich. You just give money away. So the same way, it's like uh, you give away. Like, uh, numbers f to reach women. Here's here's women you can talk to right now. You know. Th that's cool. That You give a little bit of a resource. You tell, obviously. It's like, this is just for experimental purposes. Just to prove that I have relationships. And they're all real people. And uh, they will probably not like you back. But you can try. Uh, at least you're going to get some sort of experience. But the most important thing is just to prove that you have something and you're sharing it with enough people and, you know, that's fine. But obviously, you can start with just showing money at first. Uh, if you don't know how to send it to other people, there's, if there's thousands of people watching you, and you're already teasing thousands of people, then it's already working. There's no no problem there. Uh, so it, it, it is, it's a weird dynamic. But again, if we want to go to that next level, we need to actually see relationships in action and actually want to, uh, well, kind of steal it for ourselves. Obviously, uh, because of the nature of the internet, it's like... Uh, we kind of don't want to see relationships because we're going to be attached to these other people who are unreachable physically. We want some local stuff. But once we just see the patterns, like observing patterns is much more powerful than any other sort of learning. This is why, you know, nobody really watches my videos. All I do is just talk. But... uh that's all I can do, for fuck's sake. I don't have opportunities. You think I have opportunities? For fuck's sake, bro. This is the only opportunity that actually makes sense. Everything else will get me in trouble. Alright? So, no, I don't. I don't have opportunities. All I can do is talk. But it, it's just good enough, and I break down channels with millions of subscribers just like that. They're nothing to me. They provide me bare minimum value, guys. I mean, let me ask you. Also, I'm gonna unsubscribe. Because he just pumps out the same fucking bullshit. I'll find you, dude, next year. <laughs> I'll find you. I'll check your channel if I'm desperate to flex how cool I am at relationships the next year, you know. How much more I know, how much faster I can talk, or some bullshit like that. That's cool. Uh, but, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna watch thumbnails pop up that I don't want to click on every single day. It's too much for me. 
All right, I can only subscribe to people I can, I actually want to watch. It's, it's quite a big requirement, I understand. So you gotta follow up fast. You get a number, you get access to something, and you have to make it useful. Wow, you reinvented the wheel. You gotta make them useful. <laughs> You can do it whenever it's useful and convenient for you. You don't have to do it fast. It's good to do it fast. You don't have to. You just, like, collected a number. Maybe you have a completely different idea than just creating a texting buddy, which is what's happening right now. <laughs> what? Base 2 is a little piece of shit. Follow up fast, guys. So that's cool. What else do you got? Reply to your text once. Started with text and notifications from. <sighs> Follow up again after she ghosts you, to make them feel useful again. <laughs> wow, so crazy. They're just like managers, like looking all the notifications. They don't have time to reply or even brain power to reply. They only see some. Sometimes you're just gonna become only visible when you like kind of desperate or you're just straight up abusing them as if they're uh, they're just a toy that just you just found and you picked up and uh, either way then you're gonna start becoming more visible but you can establish more and more personality as you go if you want to dump dump your thoughts which probably you do it's you know you got someone's number you start dumping some thoughts they stop replying, you stop dumping thoughts because now they're boring pieces of shit and relationship complete. You have completed a successful relationship. That's what happens. All right. If you successfully do that, well, the, it's it still ends, but you had somewhat an attempt to make a conversation. All right. That's cool. That's cool. Thrown around by See, the fun part is that Base Zeus tells the truth because he has to teach you things that actually work. But I said uh, four sentences, you just understand that and uh, stop manufacturing bullshit or stop listening to this guy's advice. You don't need to watch every single video that he puts out. It's completely pointless. It's the same fucking shit. All right. Well, look, there's a different car with same four wheels. It can do the same exact thing, but it looks a little bit different. Isn't that fucking cool? Oh, can you shove it up your ass? Does it do that as well? Because a normal car, you, you wouldn't be able to shove up your ass, but you should try, try on this one. This one's slightly different, so maybe you can shove it up your ass. 2022, young men are more purposeless than ever. Shut the fuck up. Every normie is purposeless. I mean, back in the day, people were thrown into wars because they're purposeless. All right, you lose your purpose, you lose a reason to live, that's it. But guess what? It has been replaced by the word repulsive. Yeah, when you have goals, you will push people away who uh, don't care about your goals. Repulsive. Oh, wow. I already said that one. I nailed it. Wow. I'm so good at this test thing. What else did I have to figure out? Treat her like a human being. The most attractive girls are used to men object pursuing large and ambitious goals. And Treat her like a human being. That's crazy, bro. That is crazy. In other areas of their life. This way, people can see them for more than just their looks. Don't more than just looks, guys. guys. Who are mesmerized with her looks alone? That is crazy, dude. Wow. So not only you have to make sure that a woman is useful, but you also have to make sure... Mm, what is it that? No, that, that's it. That's it. Well, it's not, not just attractive, but useful, I guess. There's, there's one more thing, right? A human... What did I... Why did I miss this? Oh, oh, you have to also make sure as a man, you have to be lovable and treat women 
as human beings. Oh wow, congratulations, and not just sexual objects. Oh wow, because that's that's not a lo lovable thing to do. That's called toxic masculinity, mas masculinity for a reason. That's something uh, women want to avoid, unless you you know pay for it, and it's like well. Of course, a slave doesn't want to do manual labor. They will suck your dick. That's fine. You just pay for it and like, well, I don't have to work for three hours. I just suck someone's dick off. Congratulations, me. I'm the best person in the universe. That's a, still a lovable person. I'm not gonna lie. All right. Um, yeah. But despite you treating someone as a sexual object, in a way, but if we figure out that you were scamming people to get your money and then scamming people to suck your dick because you cannot uh, pleasure yourself properly, you're wasting all this money everywhere, I don't know, bro, and you're just destroying society as a whole, I don't know if you're gonna survive for long enough, I don't know if you're gonna be remain lovable, so yeah, treat as a human being, That's that's what it uh, lit up, all right, on my test sheet. So, well, I have this one. Don't don't worry about it, about it, based Zeus. Are you just? Is he just stealing my content and manufacturing? What is happening? Hmm. I think he's stealing my stuff right now. Are in higher sexual demand than men. If you wait too long and hesitate, you're just giving another guy an opportunity to take your place. Physically engage her. There's been so many times I've had girls I'm just friends with tell me about guys they like and are hanging out with who won't make a move on them. It yeah, it's it's kind of cool. So do I have flirt somewhere? Well, you gotta give up your nonsense. Mm, ready to give up your mon nonsense and make your moves to see, you know, what do you have and as an opportunity for you? What kind of opportunities do you have? You have to poke around. You have to be able to do that and not be scared because that's nonsense. That's not something a man should be. You're scared of fucking women? Not literally, but like, like women. <laughs> what are you scared? Of? That's the whole fucking point. Women exist. Uh, in a way that a, ma a normal man would not be scared of them, all right? Would not be scared to take opportunities. It, it's still scared to, scared to approach them, because there's no reason to, and you're going to be disliked very likely, and you're going to be rejected. You're just wasting your time, technically. Uh, I feel, like, very insecure. I don't want to approach women. I have nothing to offer, all right? It's just going to go downhill. Uh, especially like uh, I don't want to mess up my local area. Okay, right? you can travel somewhere, and start approaching strangers. I don't know if you can do that because your culture is not gonna match. It's so tough, but uh, yeah, uh, approaching, picking up. It's still it's old school. It's now no longer expected from you. So. Uh, but being friend zoned and not trying to squeeze opportunities, I mean, having a, a friend for a woman, that's that's a luxury everyone wants to have. And if you're not using that properly, man, you're, you're a piece of shit. You're full of nonsense that you didn't give up. Despite having opportunities. Oh, wow. Despite being rich, which is the color yellow. So I'm, I'm, I have extra fucking power here. Uh, but, uh, he just stole my content again. How dare you? Go to school, get a hundred K in debt, get a useless bachelor's degree that won't teach you. Wait, this one is not talking about dating whatsoever. What, what is going on? Can I still nail it? Even though it doesn't talk about dating, can I still nail it? Cause it's, it's how to be a man, how to be a millionaire. Well, it must be the repulsive part, the ultra, ultra male vitality, guys. <laughs> Buy it now. But, uh, uh, yeah, if you don't follow mainstream advice, you're gonna be a weirdo, a repulsive weirdo. Congratulations. Follow your passion. Yeah. A mainstream way to do things is like, well, I, 
I have enough money now. Can I have a relationship, please? And you will get one. And you will be accepted to society as a loser. But it's fine. Alright? That's what a normal person life looks like. It's not a fucking big deal. It's very difficult to live as a normal person. And if you can continue surviving and still mm, trying a little bit to be above average, no no big deal. Not Try, try not, not to be a homeless uh, psychopath or something. Uh, a broken person, basically, that just gives up on life. You'll just live a normal life and everything's normal and everything's cool. <laughs> what's what's wrong with that? All right. I I, I see uh, very beautiful things in that uh, sort of life. It's just right now it's a terrifying time to live for some reason. It's kind of weird. My life didn't change, but like it it seems terrifying all the way around. I don't know why. I hope there's just ups and downs and stuff. But yeah, it's... We, we got that one, right? So we he didn't actually even left the bubble. He tried. But in the end, he just tried to explain what man's supposed to look like. Oh, repulsive. Oh, you, you did, just didn't find the right word. If he finds the right word, I give him an entire heart back. If he just nails a... a the word free, the word lovable, repulsive, useful, attractive doesn't work. Mm-mm-mm, because that's not the point. The point is to actually communicate that men have also a very weird quality, which is different from women, which is the obvious quality over here, but the word repulsive, that's why it stands out. So we'll love, uh, and uh, give up nonsense. And women should... You should also encourage women to do certain things, and it would be a ripple effect, basically. It's like, uh, not only you tell women to be useful, but here's how you do it, and here's how you're useful to yourself. You actually can allow certain uh, pieces of baggage a little bit. It will speed you up in life. So if you can empower women like that, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. Uh, so that's that's the real feminism right here. All right, allowing women to keep a little bit of nonsense in their lives. They don't have to clean everything up all the fucking time because that actually is way worse of a nonsense uh, to just like constantly, constantly pick up a woman and it's like, oh, it's a blank sheet of paper. Does the, and there's nothing to really explore. They just look generic, basically. That's what stands out. It make, makes a difference between women is just uh, what kind of uh, experiences they have and how they keep it within without triggering too many people and making them rejected from society as if they already attached and already have a relationship. No, that's that's not supposed to be the case. So women have to flex relationships without having relationships. They have to... Uh, be experienced but not attached to anything they have to have things just for the memories but not for the sentimental values that would rip them apart or something like that just f just to remember life lessons that they picked up along the way that's the way to do it because that will teach the man very quickly because uh, and it will connect you very quickly. We'll create this relationship. We'll create this dating ex experience before your first date. It's so fucking powerful. Women have to fucking do that more often. All right. Uh, so, uh, and as a man, you, it's your responsibility sometimes to be a little bit of a feminist and empower women. So they come up to you and meet you in the middle. It's the, the most satisfying thing as well. To solve this nonsense problem, you know, I wish end would be like uh, some kind of a, a emoji. That would be cool. I might have to create one. And I don't think we have end. It's too hard to tell. There is the yin yang symbol, but. I want it to be simplified. That that would be cool. The end 
I mean, already he's twisted enough ways that it just looks like Hinian anyways. Fuck yeah, bro. I love this shit. Alright, let's uh, keep going, bros. Let us keep going. Don't have looks fade away. Again, another uh, reason why he should show relationships is uh, how else are you going to be a successful YouTuber? How are you going to provide content that actually stacks upon itself that you want to continue watching because... Like, there's some drama going on, you know, and you want to see it being resolved in a peculiar way. And maybe even you get to participate to some extent. You get to, you know, send advice to be Zeus himself as he gets into trouble. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, his uh, channel is just declined and became dormant little garbage thingy. Little raisin, and nobody likes raisins. Uh, but, um... Except me, because I am a homeless person and I eat all sorts of foods. I don't, I'm not picky whatsoever. Solved. Looks fade away very fast with age. Luckily, I'm a god, so I don't have that problem. Uh, but you know what problem you do have? If you're god, you're not very repulsive. I mean, people will pray for you and people uh, will sacrifice for you like this. You're, you're not very repulsive. You're very attractive. Like, people want to worship gods, after all. If there's something in return. Unless there's nothing in return. But that means maybe you have matured and you have uh, successfully uh, finished your uh, societal thing. So, we also have to double check your vitals if you're not, if you're still alive. And maybe you're already inside society and who cares, man. That means you're not, well, you're not, a, an, a, well, as as we say in Skyrim, you take an arrow to the knee, you're no longer an adventurer, all right? That's the, that's the whole point. Tempur-Pedic mattress is 3,000 bucks. So he says, uh, if you if you can't afford something, don't buy it, which is, again, not a dating advice, right? But it's a man advice. That's how you become uh, less repulsive. How, you may ask? Very simple. You just have to have no problems that other people have to solve. And attract yourself in, into your life and try and solve your problems now. That's what a repulsive man is supposed to... Uh, that's what repulsivity is supposed to represent in a man. And what's so cool about a man? When you can just solve its own problems and not get into a lot of nonsense bullshit, you know. Like, uh, spending money they don't have, like, fuck, for fuck's sake. If I, but, however, however, the biggest problem for me, I'm kind of like super duper determined to just starve to death if I'm starving to death. I'm not gonna go out streets, into streets and like... Or squeeze my wallet. If if I'm dying, I'm I'm dying a honorable death. I don't I don't want to be helped. To be honest, I know it's gonna bring me back to society and revive me, and someone else will take all that fucking credit for doing that. Fuck that shit, bro. I'm not doing that shit. Maybe I'll change my mind, but uh, I can only improve. I cannot disprove what I already believe. Attention, and you couldn't help but notice it. Look at something she's doing, not at her. At something she's doing. Like if she's standing next to you, you could look over at her. F yeah, you don't want to be creepy. Because you want to be lovable. Isn't that, isn't that cool? Because creep people don't like. You, you have to apply principles and then they can be applied at any time in your life, no matter what the trendy thing is to do. It's like, uh, maybe looking at people is not no longer considered creepy. You just kind of have to do it. You have to stare, stare at each other. And if you make a move, you lose a Mr. Beast challenge. I mean, it's crazy what can happen uh, in the next few years. How, how the world can just flip upside down. We'll need to watch more based Zeus videos to figure it out. Absolutely.
Absolutely, we will be suckers to base Zeus eventually. Bow down to the god that knows everything, but cannot actually explain it in just four sentences, unfortunately. Feminized and timid men only continue. Called approaching rise. a superpower, the guys. The way to stand out to a woman is not by flexing on dating apps or social media. No, no, no. Being man enough to actually approach her. I don't know how to do that. I'm sorry, dude. I, and I don't think that's a problem that I have. That makes me less repulsive. So I'm not gonna fucking trust you, my friend. Uh, but I can solve your problem if. Because that looks like a fucking problem to me, my friend. Let's continue. And be able to let's... charm her in a conversation in person. All right, let's charm superpower. him. The average man can't oh, even make eye contact with a woman he likes, let alone approach her and start a conversation Maybe for a good reason. stumbling over his words. The most basic Maybe for a good and common reason. task expected of you as a man is now something that 99% of men have never... Maybe for a good reason? You know, jumping off a cliff is something never 99% of men never done, really. Done. Think hmm. about that for a second. How far? Hmm. Have you oh, he did it. <laughs> he fucking did it. Oh my god. I I'm I'm taking the nail down cuz like I did not expect him to actually do it cuz that is that is fucked up, Fine. bro. The fact that you exist that is fucked and are up. reading this is proof that your caveman ancestors were- You are a caveman, dude. <laughs> you jumped off a cliff anyways, you bro. You never have. See, he has problems, not superpowers. It's fucking garbage. In order for whoever clicks on it or comes across it without you Status actually guys. having to do anything. It serves as your modern day business card, except it can get you late if you do it right. I mean, it's not like you can staple a condom to your business card and go, hey, what's going on? Yeah, that's not gonna work. Some other ways to display your status are by having strong charisma and social skills. When some- Oh, charisma and social skills, you mean confidence because you're confident about knowing how life works? Oh, that's, that's an interesting one. And it's very difficult. Well, that that's what will make you lovable because you have skills wow congratulations uh skills and you're not a piece of fucking garbage that completely pointless all right uh you don't have to technically be useful all right you have to understand how life works because you, you're gonna go back to society and it's like maybe you'll find a use in society maybe not you do have to find out like how to earn money but that doesn't mean you have to be useful technically you can be a scammer and do whatever you want and get away with it technically i mean it's crazy just like women can just be prostitutes technically and uh you have an easy life but they have to sacrifice something technically you can do things without skills and get away with it and still get a good life uh, but skills are gonna enrich your life even further. So that's something to think about. And skills are definitely lovable. Alright. And not necessarily useful. It's, it's weird, right? Why is it... Why is it... Why is skills not useful? Well, uh... The problem is with skills. And why women are useful is... Uh, they are programmable. They can, they can sort of do functions, but without actually acquiring skills. You know, they just have basic human skills, and uh, it's not not considered actual skills. So uh, it usually is just like, well, perform some certain tasks. That's fine, uh, and that's useful. But when men actually acquire skills. It's also an ability to manipulate people, and you don't really know if it's positive or negative unless you actually present those skills to society properly. Uh, and uh, you teach other people your skills. And uh, you have to be a very well-rounded person, which kind of just reduces your skills into just, you know, eventually just being becoming a storyteller, which is like, how is that useful? But it, it's just very, very confusing, right? When you question that. Eh, fascinating. All right. Status. 
Just... Why are you afraid? Yeah, I mean, skills apply to both sides. It's just, uh, men usually fall apart when it comes to ma making themselves lovable. They always show, like, oh, look how I can kill the beast. Look how powerful I am. They just keep on flexing and flexing, and it's just, yeah, but if, if you just, if I make you angry, you will kill me. So, I don't really like your skills. That's the whole point, you know. Skills are not always positive thing that you have. You have to show the ability to um, uh, provide value with those skills, regardless in which condition you're being put in. So you have to show flexibility instead of like actual certain types of skills, uh, which is uh, why those the word skill is so fucking weird. It kind of applies to both sides. Is just very very different all right you have to have a, a double-edged skill where you attack the enemy and appreciate and respect the friend it's just very simple stuff but it gets complicated where respect can have also different forms of where like okay my friend is turning now into an enemy because he respected them so much they have grown and they became like very unstable so i have to swap and recognize like oh now that's the enemy so this is very complicated stuff sometimes and i'm, I'm glad to have a dude like bait Zeus that i can uh pick on as as a nerdy little fucking gangster god i i don't know the g man the the lower g lowercase g he doesn't even have g in his name dude lol that you don't even allow yourself to take a swing in the first what the place. fuck is your spirit really that weak and fresh what kind of subliminal shit that he just pooped on us anyways there is a reason to be afraid of rejection sometimes sometimes there's a reason you just don't want to waste time Sometimes you're going to be utterly rejected and you just, you know, being fearful is kind of terrible. You don't want to do that. Uh, when you, you want to make action, you want to make sure it works. But if you keep getting rejected, like you, you collect statistics and you then weigh it out. Is, is it worth it? Is it not worth it to do a certain thing? So, yeah. What else Fragile are you going to say? You can't even handle a little bit of rejection. Napoleon, greatest military... A little bit of rejection. It usually isn't a little bit of rejection. You know, usually uh, just like, please leave me alone, you're a creep, weirdo. Leave me alone. <sighs> or just absolute radio silence. And uh, you only hear footsteps running away. It's like, fuck off, man. It's never a little bit of rejection. It's just tons and tons of bricks of rejection. Just someone looked at you and it's like, well, let's start building a wall. All right. For the Mexicans. Because I'm Donald Trump now. I understand exactly how Tr Donald Trump feels. And it's fantastic. You just uh, turn someone into Donald Trump. Uh, I, I don't know if uh, you're not supposed to be afraid of rejection, actually. It's kind of weird. Beyond... What you shouldn't be afraid of is uh, being repulsive. Uh, fantastic. And you should not be afraid when you are accepted. All right. When you learn, you are acceptable. All right. You, you accepted the society. Now what you're going to do? You got the green light. You got to be ready for that. All right. So, uh, but this, this is just terrible advice, man. Not to be afraid of rejection is pretty fucking fearful thing to encounter. It's like, well, there's a wall. I'm pretty afraid of walls. Like, I will avoid walls. I will start looking at as them as not obstacles that I can interact with in any way. Besides f dumping my fear onto these walls. Because I cannot break them that easily. Do you think I'm gonna just build a tank by myself before I enter society? <laughs> That's gonna be easy, guys. It makes. See, the the point is, if you have time to make up your own mind, 
you just adopt principles. If you don't have time, yeah, it's cool to sit back and watch a video like that to remind yourself how it all works, kind of, currently, you know, what the dating guru has to say currently uh, as he deals with things, I guess, but it's still so low tier, I, I wouldn't deal with this shit whatsoever. Uh, but, well, it's, it's still quality content is just very low tier. I mean, and very abstract still, and it's not even entertainment. Uh, and as ed education purposes, you're trying to make things as simple as possible, so... I don't know, bro. I don't know if I like it. We have to wrap it up. So, uh, let's do the highlight reel. Uh, but yeah, be unpredictable. Oh, wow, another repulsive trait. Well, how did I... How could I have figured that out? Just, I said attractive, and I thought to myself, what if I just flipped that, and it's like, it worked, and it's like, wow, it's a principle. It's, it's, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, you figured out how I created this thing, and uh, how could I have done it, you know? Yin and Yang could, could have not be possibly that fucking simple. I mean, men are supposed to be attractive, too. They have to have a lot of things to offer, and a lot of fucking infinite amount of skills, and infinite money. They have to be on top of the world. They have to be gods. That's the fucking trap that these so-called guru gurus of dating fucking just fall into. Just straight up in, uh, straight up in that hole. You just dig a hole and say, there's everything that you need to... Uh, to in order to be a man in, in that hole and all, all these gurus just gonna fall into that shit all right uh, and uh, shit on the name guru because that's not what guru is supposed to mean in the first place it's supposed to be a spiritual teacher so uh, technically these are just uh dating advisors or whatever i don't know pickup artist is way better word I mean, now I'm just trying to identify what the fuck this guy is doing. But every single YouTuber is just like that, and they just pick up one thing and they run with it. And they can't really run very far. You know, because where are you going to go with that one thing? Aren't you going to steal more things? What a loser. Again, in, in the first four minutes, I just told you guys the ultimate way. And uh, it encompasses that... Girls are so fucking garbage that you don't even have to fucking deal with them anymore, alright? If you're my level of consciousness, or somewhere next to my level, you just need a, a one step forward, you just needed those four minutes to understand the actuality, alright? Yes, women still will have a lot of power and control, you can't just give it all up, alright? You gotta, you gotta poke around just in case... There's other opportunities better than what I described. Uh, but currently, you just go where the content is. And it's all free. And it checks all the boxes. Uh, let's double check. You know, you will be repulsive because you're fucking incel. Women will remain attractive. Uh, you will be lovable because... Anyone can improve your life significantly, just fucking give you a hundred dollars, your life is improved. Give you a blowjob, your life is improved, take your virginity away. Go out on a date, your life is improved. Very lovable person, very easy to improve. Uh, our lovable and Im improvable. But, I don't know, lovable is such a special word, dude so special it's like i would add a teddy bear just to give you guys the idea like someone give you some sentimental value and uh you really just willing to accept that women useful obviously it's a little bit of a sexist thing to say but fuck that shit bro you clean your shit up women you attack me see how that works out all right so, uh, clean up their nonsense. I'm willing. Alright. I hear you. 
I heard it. But uh, is, is it going to happen, though? Mm -hmm. That's the ultimate tease. But uh, w w how about the, the, the thing that I shown, right? So, uh, am I willing to clean up my nonsense as a super-duper incel man? Uh, there's actually, like, not that much nonsense to clear, but you wouldn't... You probably would be surprised how much of it is kind of hidden from plain sight. Because there's a lot of things that I'm not showing, right? So, uh, there is a lot of nonsense. I mean, women can detect it better than I do. Because uh, they have to deal with cleaning up all the time. Alright, so you yourself cannot detect it, so that's kind of the whole point. Uh, and but you you kind of feel like it's it's not the the way of society most of the time whatever whatever men decide to do is just not the way of society and you have to be able to clean up the moment you get approached by women and it's like well you, you have an opportunity but you have to clean the shit up uh, then you have to say well help me out and you know and all that stuff all that other stuff all right uh and uh Again, we, we kind of discussed that, but uh, specifically on Instagram profiles, they could still leave pictures of old relationships or uh, even not so successful things that, that they had in life. Very attractive stuff, something you don't want to erase, You're a part of your history, all right? You don't want to be, a, again, a clean slate as if uh, nothing really happened in your life whatsoever. You made absolutely no mistakes. What the fuck is that shit, bro? All right? That is garbage. If you record enough of your life, some drama will come down. And only celebrities get, get to be recorded. Only celebrities cannot really erase the past. But these fucking little pieces of shit normie women think they can erase all the past fantastic you're just hurting yourself all right and it's all free it's supposed to be on the internet everything's pretty pretty fucking goddamn cheap all right if you don't have internet access then you can go old school but otherwise it's pretty fucking free around here all right uh this stuff comes as a bonus to the internet where you use internet for education purposes, I would imagine. Alright? Right? That's that's what you do? So, uh, let's do the, the highlights and leave this guy alone because he has nothing to offer me whatsoever. I tried. I, I picked my opportunity. Which was a shitty opportunity because it's a dude. But, uh, I take what I can get, man. You, you think you, you're better than me, man? Nah, bro. I'm way more repulsive. Look how attractive this guy looks. Calling actually, out bad behavior. In actually, actually, now that I said that he's attractive, I ha actually have to watch the video because it would be a twisted thing if I didn't. Man, that sucks, man. Fuck. That guy. His pronouns is that guy. Ah, my favorite. My favorite. All right, so you're very attractive, but I'll, I'll leave you for later. Calling I'll save you for later. Holding her a pattern and make a. You must break your personality pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, based Zeus, I, I don't think you have superpowers anymore. I think your clock has. Ticked away because I made a witty about you. <laughs> Whoopsie noodles. That is not uh, just praising you. Because you're fucking green, bro. You're not gold. You're just grass. Consequences of a bad or awkward interaction are not that deep, my friend. I mean, damn, it's awkward and uncomfortable for about five to ten seconds as the girl walks away, but that's really it. You're not gonna die. It's not like you're gonna... I will die if... Uh... The girl walks away and is like, well, I have figured out your weakness. You will die now. Yes, I will die. Yes. She rejected me and figured out what I like and, uh, fig and told everyone else about it. 
And my strategy is now being figured out and I can't do my strategy without getting into a lot of trouble. And I will very likely die. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what else did you say? Spontaneously combust from the embarrassment. Mm, yeah, I will uh, spontaneously combust. Uh, I will cause pain to myself so I don't have to endure pain from other people. I will combust. It's like what creepers do. Have you met a creeper? They combust, actually, spontaneously. Uh, as they approach a, a person, a real person. It does happen. You have to treat monsters with a little bit of respect, my my dude. I mean, come on, bro. Men used to go to war. And uh, spontaneously combust in other ways, am I right? In real ways, where their life just ends, and it's like... It's better to do it emotionally, I think. But it would still happen emotionally. And you would... And uh, on, you, you forgot the word stupid, all right? And now you mean to tell me that you're too scared to approach a cute girl? Yes, because a lot of other men approached a cute girl and she could just uh, redirect a few a few men your way and You're not approaching a cute girl. You're approaching a fucking atomic bomb in your life Oh, I just approach a cute girl and there's a lot of men that are very interested whether you successfully approached her or not Mm, and then she fucking tells them about you, and you fucking die. You remember that thing where you die? That can happen. It's not a fucking fucking a mysterious thing that I just fucking unveiled. Yes, it happens. All right, P men get jealous. Men get into fights for this shit. This is fucking dangerous, okay? This is not fucking... Oh, there's just a cute little girl in the middle of nowhere doing nothing without any sort of uh, self-protection. Nothing actually. She's completely detached from society, blah, blah, blah. Yes, if it's in the middle of a fucking island, I find a girl. Oh, well, I can do whatever the fuck I want to that girl. I don't give a fuck. There's a different rule when it comes to society, man. You cannot get away with nothing. You can't even get away with approaching someone. You can't even get away with saying fucking hi, bro. You die. You die. This is fucking bad, bro. Can someone uh, turn off base twos? Uh, he has a light on right now. I want to turn it off and say hi. Because you die.